Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Have you ever been suspicious about your LAN network? Or maybe you are just starting out and not sure who is using which IP address? Do you often get a complaint about the IP conflict? If that sounds familiar, then this video is for you. Today we are going to dive into a scanning our LAN network, identifying the devices that are taking up IP addresses and exporting a live IP address list for reporting purpose. So let's get started and take control of our network okay for that we have to download the application from the internet that's called uh, ip scanner angry ip scanner just go to the google and type angry just type angry as ip scanner and this first list will come go to this one and the reason being i'm using this one is uh, this is a very light version and if you do not want to install it so you know that uh, to run any application you have to install it on your computer however this angry IPS scanner give you an option where you can run it directly. There is a program which execute and run it on your computer. So let's go ahead and download. This is click on the download option here. Let's close this ad. And this is says that this is the current version and this may require this Java version. Okay we'll download it or if you want to go with the legacy one you can see this is the legacy version so this will work on a windows 98 windows 2000 xp even in fact i ran it on windows 11 and this works fine so what we will do is we'll download both of this version here uh, this is the latest version and then this is the legacy one ipscan.ea so let it be downloaded this is going to download it from sourceforge okay so both you can see here both the version has been downloaded now what we'll do is first thing first first we will run this ips scanner so let's run this executable file first so let's go ahead and install it this is the latest version so we'll check the latest version first and then we go with the legacy one so this is done and say that run i angry ip scanner okay finish i say that you want to send an anonymous report no i don't want to send it okay so here is the interface of our scanner now here it has detected the ip address range so my ip address on system start from 192.168.29.0 so let me show you to you and you can see this is starting from 29.x series so it has already detected that and it says that this will scan the range of 29.0 to 29.255 okay and this will start with the home pc and network and it will start so what we'll do is we don't do anything here just straight away we'll go ahead and click on the start and once you click on the start it will start scanning the network you can see this is all red question mark so this is trying to ping the ip address you can see this is percentage here 82 percent 85 percent and here you can see this on numbers okay it will take few more seconds to show you the final result here though it says 100 percent but there are some threads running here you can see. okay so it scanned that and it says that they found out of 254 host this is the class c ip address it says that uh, out of 254 IP address it has it found that 26 are live okay close so when you scroll it down you can see this blue blue one they are the one which are alive these are the live ip address you can see the ping, ping milliseconds also and the red ones are dead they are not at all alive but you know it's very difficult to scroll it out and find it out which ip address is uh, I mean the live IP address so you know to short it out what you have to do is you have to go to the tools and preferences and inside you have to go to the display and uh, do you see this option a live host responding to ping only right and there are the option that host with open ports only there's the option you can select that but for, for me I'll just select this host which will reply to the ping click on the ok and click on the start again let's see click on the ok and this is going to re-scan the network and this time it's going to show you only live host so let's wait for that you can see this uh, started range from 225 30 40 and then so on moving on and here we go so this is showing you this will show you the only the live network which are live in my LAN okay so you can see here these are the IP addresses which are alive in my network so isn't it like easy thing I can identify that which IP address uh, is alive or not but you know there is an option where I can uh, find the host name so somehow this host name is not let me re-scan it let me re-scan it and see if we get the host name okay now um, it sh started showing me the host name here okay so this time it scanned the 37 uh, ip addresses and then show you the host name so basically the, it does show this host name so now as you can see here we have got this uh, we have a scan so let's say we want to make a report 
So as of now, it says that today is 27, 8, 20, 20, 20, 24, and we have scanned this 37 hosts, and these are the hosts where I, I like, right? So there could be a scenario that this is very helpful. Let's say if you are in um, networking or if you are in IT field and you are going to migrate this uh, the servers or network, this will be very helpful when you do the pre and post test. And even in your house also, you can find it out who is using what IP addresses being used, how many IP addresses has been used or not. Right. So let's say that I want to export this in the Excel sheet. So what, how do I how do I do it? Click on the scan and you can say export all. Click on the export all and here you have your option the TXT file or the XML XML file, right? Or the CSV file. So you can put it in the CSV file. Let's say um today's is that this is uh, August 27. Save it. Uh, okay, let's put in the desktop. Let's put it in the desktop. So this is about the CSV file. Let's taste, let's add, okay, let's export all and uh, put it in on the desktop. Let's say this is just August 27. And this time I'm going to use that, change the name, August TXT and done. And you can see here when I open this one, this is how you will have a, this is how it the it will look like. And then you have a report, like this will scan on so and so date and this is the IP address. So let me show you one more thing here. So this is about your your the LAN which you are connected here. But you know that the interesting fact that you can scan the other network also. Let's say if you are in a, in a different LAN network and if you have a different IP addresses range, you can sitting from this computer you can scan it. Let's say um, you have a different IP address range. Let's say uh, 50.0 and you can scan up to 254, 255. So if sitting on your network, you can go ahead and scan the other network. And if you can send if you have a different, let's say if you have a um, um, different subnet mask you can select the different subnet mask from here slash 24 slash 16 and uh, this is this is the range they have given 128 192 so these are the range subnet custom subnet mask you can uh, scan it so let's say that 50 dot uh, i have a different network called 50 you can go ahead and can this 50 network as well so you can see this is the base ip then you can select this ip and then if you have a text file you know if you have a text file you can um, enable that you can give the text file also so text file will be like you have to use the separated comma so you can can you see this this is a network this is how uh, you have to add this uh, range here and give it to it it will scan all the ip addresses in one shot right so again this is the same thing you can go ahead and change the display settings here right now this is this is about your this is about the latest version what is the latest version we are we are using this is the 3.9.1 now let me show you if you don't want to install it you just want it to run on the go so you have to go to download i just i just seen that we have already downloaded this uh, legacy version you can see this ip scan open it it says that there's some dll or something not fine that's fine and here you have to add your ip address here it does not detect any IP so you have to add it manually and then you have to click on the start and same way it will work I've seen that we have not installed it we just click on that uh, click on that uh, executable file and it's uh, just run the system so let's see if that works in the same way you can see this progress is scanning the IP address here and it's detected my gateway here you can see this 192.168.29.1 and it says that reliance not reliance and uh, here it says that the home PC and uh, okay it says that this is scan eight host fine so let's go to option here and only a live host click on the live host okay and save click on the scan again maybe this um, the other computer has been shut down so that's the reason it's showing 8 to 10 host here but that's fine that's okay now you can see here this is scanning the host so almost these eight hosts are online as of now and uh, I can I can check that I can go from here. So if you right if you right click on it and go to um, show, you can see show username, MAC address, detail, TTL, net BIOS info. These are the things you can. If this is enabled, you can go ahead and see that. And again, you have an option to file, export all, and you have an option to export as a TXT, HTML right or csv file. This is how you can go ahead and do that. So I remember that we have exported that one csv file um, i'm not sure if, if it is uh, going to open on this screen but however i can quickly move that different screen here paste it and try to open it let's see if that opens in the x yeah so you can see here this is the this is the output of your csv file right so this is very helpful when you have like pre and post kind of configuration you are doing it or just for record purpose you can keep the record of this uh, the devices so I think we have covered the agenda for today's video. If you have any questions, query or any feedback related to this video, please do let me know in the comment box and I will try to 
answer it so thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one